everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this comic text effect in Gravity Designer that is absolutely editable and you can download it as always on tutorials.net. Just follow the link on the description. The main aim of this tutorial is to show you how to apply that dot screens effect and also how to actually add pure the color into the character. You know that uh, my previous method was based on the color gradient and color adjust effect, but it doesn't give you the full control over the color and what's more important, it didn't separate the uh, border color, field color and effect color. My new method gives you the full control over the color and it looks like a real gravity designer hub. So let me show you how it works in Gravity Design tutorials. Let's start with the new document Alt N or Option N on your Mac with the custom size 700 on 440. Click Create to create a new canvas. Uh, let's start with the text tool. Grab the text tool and uh, type your word. I'm working with the boom, bam, uh, crack and uh, everything that depicts the cartoonish explosion. So, working with the blue, but it's not very cartoonish bloom. We need to add that, uh, set the typeface, we need to set the mood. I'm working with the web fonts, and my web fonts that I'm particularly interested in is, is Slacky 1, Slacky Regular. Uh, I want to set it to 132 font size. Great. Leave it black because we're gonna work with the custom fill. And first and foremost, go to the effects more uh, art, I'm sorry, artistic and dot screen. It will give you a nice dots, but you wouldn't see them because it's applied to the absolute black. We need to make the color white. Uh, the color gray, I'm sorry. So these are our dots and we can uh, we have four element size, uh, we need to set the type to 3.4, uh, we uh, have the center property X, Y and angle. I'm gonna use the actually default uh, zero point angle and uh, just the, use the size 3.4. Click enter. Uh, you see that it's a black and white and if you add some uh, custom fill it won't work at all because you actually cannot pick up the color particular color you can just uh, color grade them it looks well it looks decent but it's not the way i want to show you so let's start with the borders uh, we need to complete the effect it's, uh, itself. So first border three po three points black. Second border is the reddish. It should be on bottom. So move it on bottom. Seven pixels. And let's go to the custom color. So let's start with the TCS decimal value. FF two six two six. A uh, nice one. You see, it also doesn't work because uh, our dot screen effect right now applied also to the borders. We need to change it and apply it to the fill. Uh, head over to this bullet like icon uh, opposite to the dot screen um, near the uh, airball icon, uh, and uh, from the drop down menu, choose the fill. Now it works fine. Uh, with the exception that we didn't uh, change the position to outside. So uh, select your uh, red border, go to the advanced stroke settings and set the position to outside. Now it's work uh, perfectly well. And now let's go uh, to the another effect. It's inner shadow as I mentioned previously. So go to inner shadow and the main logic behind this effect right now is to boost the blur to fill up the character. You see, let's boost the blue. You will uh, you will see what we have. Uh, let's say 100. And now boost the opacity to 100 as well. And uh, set the color. Let's say yellowish. 
kind of things. But you see, it looks like it spills out the field uh, to the border uh, because it, it's not applied to the field. Let's apply it to the field. Now it's look like a sharp. Our second step is to create the Halton effect. Halton is the uh, Halton is intended to simulate the gradient by applying the dots varying in size and shaping. So basically, a graphic designer developers. Uh, they are smart and they decided to uh, let's apply the dots to the gradient and to create the halton. Work perfectly well. Let's go to the fill. Remember, we are applying the dot screen effect to the fill. Let's uh, choose the liner gradient and let's arrange it properly. So my arrangement will be like this. And of course, I want to fill it with white from one side and grayish from the other side and put it grayish a little bit to the dark because I want to vanish it from top. I want to vanish it from top. This is much better. But the only thing we need right now is to go and apply the uh, lone shadow effect to <coughs> make the extrusion, right? So go to the more shadow, lone shadow. Uh, and this is what happens actually this is what happens um, delete the fade delete the opacity set it to uh, 100 percent this is what can happen don't worry if you are facing the same result just reapply your lone shadow it won't work with the fill you see it won't work with the fill we need to apply it to the element just change the, uh, reapply it again. And now uh, let's decrease the all length to 15 and set the angle to negative 12. Negative 12. Nice. A nice cartoonish kind of effect uh, with no inner shadow so let's start with the inner shadow again 100 opacity 100 pixels and yellowish bam and apply to the feel bam so this is our comic text effect we're almost done let's bend the text go to the more distortion and bend Let's bend the text, we can bend it on the X axis, we can bend it to the Y axis, we can set the radius. But actually, let me show the uh, pit files that we, uh, you were facing when you were applying the uh, Y axis, across the Y axis. It won't work to the effect, even if you set it to element, it won't work to the effect. So, uh, just now, right now, I want to create a slightly like like 1.1 why i need uh, this effect at all because it's um the lone shadow uh, cannot maintain the same thickness um, it's not possible within the uh, human hand so uh, i decided to introduce a little bit of band here and now we need to create an explosion dialog box start with the star create the star then go to the and increase the number of points from this slider drag the slider to let's say 18 now Control shift p command shift p to uh, uh, create the path go to the modify path uh, convert to path or go uh, to this icon convert to path on the uh, tools uh, panel okay so uh, right now we are all uh, set to modify it so let's uh, grab the subselect tool or click i believe d right the subselect tool d click d and go drag them outside drag them away drag this on top don't touch the handles drag the only points This. 
Okay, I'm okay with my explosion bubble. Maybe I want to a little bit change the position of these dots. I'm okay with this explosion bottle. It looks decent. Let's place it uh, under the uh, font with the control and down arrow or command and down arrow on your mark. Now uh, let's create another one by going to the uh, modify path expand and shrink and for this particular uh, size I'm working on 700 to 440 uh, let's go uh, with the 20 pixels of expand but before of course we need to create a duplicate ctrl shift d command shift d I forgot about the step sorry uh, select the path below um, on the bottom of your layer stack go to the modify path uh, expand the shriek again set the number to 20 type the 20 now let's work with this path because this path requires the radial gradient and the radial gradient it should be like um, this let's go to the field let's select the radial gradient from the drop down let's go to the first color instead of white uh, set the ff 55 five, Five, five. So uh, two F and four uh, fifths. Okay. And instead of uh, black, go to the seven five eleven two three. Click enter. Uh, nice. Let's go and change it to white, absolute white, and let's. Uh, let's apply the same to the rectangle before grab the rectangle tool uh, fill, uh, fill up the canvas create a duplicate move one of the duplicates on the bottom and for these duplicates apply the same gradient i I'll, uh, prefer to work with the shared style so create a new shared style go to the appearance style new shared style then uh, from this new shared style apply to the select the rectangle on the bottom sorry that you cannot see what is going on i believe we need to just apply this shared style and finally this this rectangle this rectangle is actually for the mask it's uh, for nothing else so select everything ctrl a and Ctrl Shift M or Command Shift M on your Mac to apply the mask. And for some of the reason when I do as uh, I do it this way, uh, it's changed the order in my layer stack. So I need to rearrange everything in my mask, which is not very convenient. Please, graphic designer, uh, developers, uh, people that are in charge, change this behavior. So, thank you for watching, thank you for watching, I really enjoy being with you guys, don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends, colleagues and relatives, visit vitorials.net for more graphic designer and Adobe Illustrator tutorials and again guys, uh, go to the graphic designer tutorials group, go to uh, visit graphic designer users group join this group share your artworks share your opinions and help the team to create the best free editor on the planet thank you for watching enjoy your day